Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we'll do the press conference now for the four hours of Spa Francorchamps. Um, we have our winners, but more importantly, we have our champions. And quite uh, an amazing uh, race here in Belgium, and it's a Belgian team that's won. The number 41, Orland team, WRT, Oroco, Seven Gibson, Robert Kubica, Yifei Ye, Louis Delatraz, and our team principal, Vincent Voss, has joined us here for a special press conference. Third win of the year, obviously, but that gives you enough points, guys, to become team and driver's champion for 2021. Robert, we'll talk to you first as you started the race. Um, it was a bit of a fraught start, wasn't it? Um, with the, I think you got away with the first corner, but uh, obviously there were safety cars, there were four-course yellows. It was been very difficult. Yeah, for sure, uh, you know... Uh Turn one in the spa is always quite tricky. Uh, we have a clear plan, uh, no risk, and uh, actually I executed pretty well uh, in turn one. And uh, actually then after turn one and a couple of laps, the race was uh, going into our, let's say, better plan than we expected because our two rivals' cars were uh, in, the, in the pit lane. So uh, we had a big uh, advantage over them. And uh, of course, uh, this contributed a lot on the approach of my driving, uh, because knowing uh, car 22 and uh, 26 uh, was, uh, 26 actually was off the race, 22 was quite behind with lap down, so uh, no risk. Uh, we knew cool car with Charles will, uh, will probably lose the pace because uh, they are pro-am uh, lineup, so uh, yeah, it wasn't so smooth as it looked, uh, to be honest, uh, our race, but uh, yeah, we executed uh, well. Uh, we have a uh, bit of luck, if you can say it, uh, in the turn one and uh, with our main rivals, but that's racing and uh, all in all, uh, we are for sure very happy how it went. This is your first year, or your, all your first year in, in, in ELMS. The comp, it, you guys have come here and made it look, not, shall I say, easy, but you've come here and you've won. But it's such a competitive championship, isn't it? It's, this is not an easy championship to win. Well, it's not an easy championship uh, to win, and that's why uh, we should be even more proud than uh, uh, that we what we achieved. Uh, yes, it looked easy from outside, but it definitely wasn't easy. Uh, I think uh, the key point was that uh, we haven't done mistakes, and uh, if we have done mistakes, uh, uh, they were not costly as uh, our rivals, and uh, we have been consistent uh, driving-wise, team-wise, and uh, executed our job. Of course, uh, we did have some uh, worse races um, in in, uh, in Port Ricard and uh, Monza, but still we were always uh, there to score high points and uh, consistency make uh, a huge difference. And uh, for purely performance-wise, probably uh, many times we were not the fastest car, but uh, uh, we have one uh, one objective is, uh, of course, to, to win the championship and we are leading it uh, from race one, but definitely ELMS is a a tough one. Uh, there is a lot of uh, good drivers, a strong uh, field of the team. So uh, uh, even more uh, bigger respect to to all and team WRT, to all the guys, and uh, and to my teammates what we achieved. Yife, you took the car over. I'm going to ask you. Obviously, after last month or in Le Mans, you must. This must be gone from a low note to much a high high note after that last lap. You were sat in that car at, at Le Mans. Yeah, it was like a dream. I would like to say uh, at the end of the race, we managed to take the lead with two hours to go and we were looking good for our first Le Mans 24 hour victory. Um, yeah, then everything stopped, which was unbelievable and devastating. Um, but we know, you know, in racing, everything can happen and we cannot let this uh, beat us. So we just keep our head down. And uh, yeah, we know that we have a good pace as we have always shown. Probably some races we are not the fastest, but we are always we are always the most consistent, and we do very little and to no mistakes. Um, yeah, so we managed to recover very well from Le Mans, and then we came to Spa having a championship mindset. And uh, yeah, at the start it looked like it really played into our favor with our championship main rivals uh, dropping down in the order. Uh, and then yeah, that like Robert said, then the race was just to to keep uh, no, making no mistakes, being on the safe side and keep the car there. And uh, I did exactly the same. Um, yeah, driving safely and uh, not, not taking any risk. And uh, uh, unluckily we had a slow puncture, which uh, 
anticipated my first pit stop and which made my second stint harder because we had to save fuel to make sure Louis doesn't get a splash and dash at the end. And uh, yeah, it was not easy to manage, but uh, like any other races, we just kept calm and uh, making no mistakes. And uh, I brought the car safely to Louis and he did also a, a extremely good job to bring it home at the end. And uh, yeah, overall, like Robert said, uh, this is extremely, competitive championship, um, being able to win it as three of us first year in endurance, as a team first year in prototype, it's an incredible, incredible achievement and uh, yeah, we, we have to thank the team, thank my teammates um, and I think tonight we can enjoy uh, a lot and uh, yeah, finish the season on the high in Portimao in uh, one month time. Definitely. In fact, your question, your uh, answer on the fuel situation brings me nicely to Louis. I got to ask you, how close was it at the end? How close were you on having to stop? Uh, too close to my liking, to be honest. But um, yeah, we had a two spare lap, which meant uh, due to the slow puncture Yife had stopped early, uh, we had to save some more fuel and we had to change tires, so which brought our uh, competitors very close behind. Uh, I wasn't sure which pace I could get by saving that much fuel. In the end, it was easier than expected, uh, but still, we were just, if there was one more lap, we would not be so so happy. So I think the whole team managed this perfectly. Uh, everyone did a good job. And I mean, in the end, we, we win and we are champions, so I'm, I'm extremely happy because there is no better way of, uh, of doing this. So did you breathe a big sigh of relief when you saw the four-course four four yellow come out? Uh, relief, yes, for sure it helps for the, for the fuel. Uh, I mean, you, you never know what the outcome is, especially after you know, what happened to us in Le Mans. We, uh, when they told me last lap, I really hoped I, I would make it because, yeah, uh, you, those memories, they stay in. So being able to recover, I would say, in this way is amazing and brings a big smile to my face. So, yeah, thank you to, to everyone for this. Vincent, we've got to turn to you. Uh, an amazing season. Uh, Le Mans winners, obviously, with the other car. You've got ELMS Championship now, all in your first year of endurance. I know you did a race with us in 2016, but this is your first full season. It just, just shows the, the strength and depth of your team in Team WRT. Yeah, well, uh, I feel very fortunate, you know, to have, uh, first of all, the, this crew of drivers, which did an incredible job uh, during all season, including uh, Le Mans. As you know, it was a, it was a difficult one, but, uh, yeah, to, to snap the... Uh, to take the championship here in our home race. It's something a bit special. Um, for all the team, you know, it's been, it's been a very tough uh, season so far and uh, they have done an incredible job. Um, and I would like to thank uh, all of the crew, even the one which are not here on track, but uh, everyone which was involved and helped me to put this together. So um, it's a great achievement. Um, for the team now we have to go to Portimao uh, on, and then in Portimao only goal will be to win then and this will be uh, the perfect uh, finish and then we still playing the championship in WEC. Guys go and enjoy this tonight you've much deserved it the whole team has deserved it as you said you're in Belgium go and enjoy it all because you know, you're not far from home I'm sure you can get have a good party tonight. Oh Robert? Uh, can I say something in Polish? A yes, like please. Just, yes, please. Dziękuję bardzo za doping. Myślę, że e, mimo COVID-u e, niestety nie mogliśmy widzieć, e, zagościć w Was kibiców, ale tutaj spa. Bardzo dziękuję za doping. Mnóstwo flag. E, także wiem, że dużo osób kibicowało mi z domu. Także dziękuję bardzo i do zobaczenia.